Hello, how's it going? I'm out here in the East Village today to bring you guys along for a little exploratory day, showing you guys some of my favorite spots with Margo, who's going to meet up with us in a bit, but I need to start with some coffee. So we're at Forest and Horton, which is one of my favorites in the area because it's also partially a dog cafe. So it's just a win-win. Let's go get some coffee. Boris and Horton is great. If you don't have a dog in the city, you can go and hang out there and pet other people's friendly little pups, which I'm usually dog love deficient. So Boris and Horton's got me covered. Or if you have a dog of your own who's friendly, you can bring him here and uh, let him hang out with the other dog. Got my Joe, I'm ready. So I got my morning cup of coffee. There's a lot of really incredible coffee shops in the East Village. I feel like you can't go wrong. I love mud. It's great if you want brunch. Uh, Ninth Street's really good. And then I also love all the King's Horses. They're the nicest there, so definitely check them out. And then now we're heading on over to St. Mark's Place or technically A Street, which I feel like is just like a really funky, unique street to check out. So let's go check it out. Hello from St. Mark's. This is a super fun street. If you've never been, it's like very quirky and there's always incredible energy. There's great restaurants and bars and the whole deal. So this is a really fun spot to hang out. And so behind me, if you're familiar with rock and roll, is the Led Zeppelin cover of Physical Graffiti. So to any of my fellow rock and roll fans out there, this is a fun spot just to come and see, especially if you've never been to the East Village and also kind of pays tribute to like the very rich punk and rock and roll history of the East Village. It's a fun spot to check out. All right, we've made it to Tompkins Square Bagels, which is one of the most iconic bagel spots in the East Village, I would say. It's super popular. There's usually a huge line, so we're here at a good time. They have all these different types of bagel options, cream cheese options. It's great for breakfast, lunch, also really great hangover food, if I do say so myself. So we're gonna grab a bagel here, Margo's gonna come meet us, and then we're gonna go head to the park. My favorite spot. I know. Love this. Look who I found. Hi, Margo's guys. <laughs> Shall we go grab a bagel? Let's do it. I've been right. waiting for yeah. this. <laughs> We have our delightful order. What did we get? Triple toasted everything bagel mm -hmm. with egg and cheese. And the triple toasted is extremely important. I feel like that's a secret. Tompkins Square Park, which I mean is an iconic part of the East Village. Yeah. How would you describe it? I would definitely say it's the heart of the East Village. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're walking through here, there's like a million things to see. Yeah. I feel like it's a good representative of what the East Village is and who lives here. There'll be picnickers, mm. there's the dog park, which is my favorite place to hang out. Yes. And it's a great place to bring your Tompkins, it's like right across exactly. the street. Definitely chaotic. <laughs> I feel like the East Village in whole is just is grungy chaotic. and chaotic. I moved to the East Village in January and I'm a big walker mm -hmm. and I just like to explore and people yeah. watch, so I feel like since moving here, I've gotten a good experience of that. Also, if you're in the East Village, definitely check out the community gardens. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are only open for a couple hours every week. And when you want a little like space to be alone, it's so hard to find that in New York. I like the community gardens kind of feel like you're separated from the thick of it. Yeah. It's so lovely to take a journal, take a book, take your morning cup of coffee if it's open and go just like, Get a little, a little fresh breath of air. But for people watching, come to Tompkins. Yeah, you gotta check out Tompkins, <laughs> that's for sure. According to the most recent census, 40% of people in the East Village are ages, uh, I wanna say it was 19 to like 32, 34. Wow. The very young area. Yeah. What do you like about her? Like, what do you feel like it's like? If someone's visiting, like, why should they come to East Village? Yeah, whenever I have friends moving to the city, I always tell them to check out the East mm -hmm. Village. When I think of the East Village, I think of small business. I think there's a lot of mom and pop stores. There's lots of boutiques, incredible restaurants that might just look like a hole in the wall but give them a chance. You know, it's not over glamorized or over industrialized. You don't really see a lot of chains in the yeah. East Village. So it's fun kind of just to poke your head into places exactly. and try new spots. I feel like it kind of feels like a hub of like young artistic energy. Yes. 
that's obviously it's been this way for decades and of course it's constantly changing like that's the nature of cities but i feel like it's like held on to that where it's still artsy it's young a little grungy it's a little rough around the edges but it's like retained so much of that character that it was like you know has historically been known for which i think is really special like you can still find like little random concerts yeah or, yeah like small businesses and again it's constantly shifting but that's why i love it here but it yeah. also feels really like true to the yeah, area. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're on our way to a thrift store too, but we had to stop by the community garden. Yeah, I've actually never been inside this one. I think it's yeah. open Saturdays and Sundays, one to six. So I might try to schedule that right, in this to, like, weekend. Perfectly time it. <laughs> but it's huge yes. and it's so well kept and there's a lot of community building mm -hmm. moments on the wall of it. So it's just really fun to walk by. It's a very like sweet, yeah, local space where people can get involved or you can just go and chill and like enjoy some greenery, which is lovely. So yeah. check them out. So we just got to Thurman Bazaar, which we were hoping to be our first thrift store of the day. It's closed, they kind of have weird hours. But if you do come here and it's closed, there is Book Club around the corner, which is a super cute little like bookstore with a cafe inside. It's really cute if you want to like get work done, grab a coffee. They also have wine at night, so it's it's a cute spot. It is kind of a thrift store, kind of an artist collective, mm -hmm. and the prices are super fair, which I feel like is hard to find in Manhattan. So, you know, if you have the time and you happen to walk by, definitely stop in. Yeah. Um, but I would check their Instagram first to see if they're True. open. So <laughs> note to self. Exactly. In this case, we're on to the next, but we tried. All right, we have made it to Bonnie Slotniks. It is an adorable cookbook store in the East Village. I actually got a gift for my mom here. There's a lot of secondhand cookbooks. Love it. Great spot to come to if you're hungry and you have some extra time on your hands. Tea house here in the East Village. Yeah. There's other fun spots like mud if you want like a little drink to get out of the heat, but yeah. <laughs> we got Takiyaki, which is a Japanese treat, and we got a fun little cake coming out in a minute. So this is like a great little stopover for the day. Get a little refreshing snack and drink, and then we're gonna keep exploring. So we just finished a Prince Tea House, we got a little Refresher snack. Yeah. And now we're headed to go thrift. Hopefully yeah. successfully this time. Fingers crossed. We're gonna hit up L Train, which is just a New York classic vintage store. They have tons of locations, mm -hmm. priced pretty fairly for yeah, thrift decently. stores. The location in the East Village is pretty big. Let's go. But first of all, when we walked in, Levi's, Lee's shorts. These were only $8. Yeah, these were 10 Yeah, exactly. So, not bad. So when you see us rocking these, you know where they're from. You know where. train pulls through. Now it's time for a little happy hour drink. So let's get a cocktail. All right, we made it to the happy hour portion of the day. Yes. Which Arguably my favorite part. We're at Niagara, which is just like East Village classic. Like everyone's probably been here at least once. What you see is what you get. It's a bar, kind of a grungy bar. It's around here since 1997. It's always open till like 4 a.m. You can usually dance, get a cheap drink. It's a classic. I think it's kind of designed for artists, or at least mm -hmm. it originally was. So there's a couple rooms inside. I think they do comedy shows some yeah. nights, and every room kind of has a different feeling. You so. kind of get a little bit of everything. And tons of outdoor seating. Yeah, for the summer, exactly. So. Some other fun spots we're talking about. There's like Mr. Paradise if you're looking for a happy hour drink. I love Made in Lane for really like refreshing summer cocktails. That's also on the edge of the park. Cocktails here are really good. I love the Low Always Thought of Lover. If you come by, it's not the cheapest, but nothing in New York is cheap. Cheers. Thursday kitchen. We've got our truffle mac and cheese. I got my little soju pouch. I got, I got a little, little glass of Savion Blanc. Love it. Yeah. This spot is so good. It is, what is it? Is it like Korean 
fusion. It's like kind of tapas style, right? Like yes. fair play. Yes. Incredible. It's all so good. Yes. They actually have a sister restaurant called Mokyo that I love. That's one street over. And it gets busy here, but the food here is impeccable. And it's no reservation, right? Yeah. You kind of just walk up, which kind of works yeah. in your favor sometimes. Exactly. We just walked up and got this table. Yeah, so. get here early enough, I guess. We're trying out a few dishes today. I love this spot. I feel like everybody like knows about it. It's like a common spot to come to this village, but like, it's actually that good. Like yeah. it's worth it to always come through. Yeah. <laughs> We just finished up at Thursday Kitchen, had some bomb food. It's a great spot. Probably gonna get a little nightcap. If you need additional recommendations for like bars, vegan racks, etc., I'm gonna leave it in the description. So check it out. I got you covered. There's too many good spots in the East Village to just hit in one video. I wouldn't be doing it justice. But we had fun. I'm we so glad <laughs> Margot joined me. Do you want to tell them your socials if they don't already know? Sure. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube, um, Margot Lee, and my Instagram is Margot.Lee. Hope you enjoyed kind of a day in the East Village, and until next time.